Act 8. Manu Propria. Manu Propria. So we find ourselves in a new act. It makes me wonder how long this act will be. You know? Sometimes acts go by very quickly in this game. But the two protagonists reunited to the bathhouse. This part of the tunnel has collapsed. We're not getting into the Mithraeum this way. I think... Yes, Caspar and I found a collapsed section of the aqueduct near town. He explored it, but couldn't describe what he found in the dark. This must be the other side. Logician background comes in. That's cool. I shouldn't have let him go. I should have taken more care with him. Andreas, we can't do anything about that now. Yes, of course. A man filled with regret, that one. This decoration. These must have been the baths. Doesn't look like there's a way through. Silt. All the floods kept carrying it down here. Hundreds of years of floods. What if we can't get through? What if it's buried forever? I don't know, maybe something... It's too early to get this discouraged. Let's keep looking. The thread puller must be here somewhere, right? Aha! More stairs down. Would something be below the baths? A uh, hippocost. They use to they use to warm they use warm air to heat the rooms above. Roman colonies in the north often had them. Let's hope those haven't filled with silt as well. Oh, this is this is close. Do you know where we're going? These pillars just kind of go on in all directions. Andreas, could you look that way? I think I'm going to try exploring ahead. Of course. <gasps> oh! oh my god. I'm playing as Andreas. Whoa! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Lorenz. Ah. Oh. I was hoping I would be able to read that. How would it say, how could you abandon your uh, your work and your friends? Damn it. I, I'm annoyed that I got so spooked by that that I thought I'd just be able to kind of click away from it. Oh, Andreas is being haunted. The only thing more pitiful than watching you work in that scriptorium was your love of that dying art. An eye for an eye, Andreas. You may have condemned me, but in doing so, you damned yourself as well. Master, why did you send me back into the flames? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Oh! No! No, this isn't right. Oh my god, look at all the fools. They've turned into weird creatures. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't be here right now. How did I get here? We've navigated through the through the labyrinth, right? We navigated through were we navigating through the labyrinth when we were underneath there and now we're back out here? Melancholia, Andreas. You're still here. Yes. For a little longer. I thought I had gone mad. Not yet. Not entirely. But you have been on this road for a long, long time. You must leave this place forever, Andreas. You mustn't... You must abandon it for good. But how? What can I do? I don't even know how I got here. This was once a place of refuge for you, Andreas. But it has become a prison. A prison you constructed to protect yourself. From what? From pain. From risk. 
from life itself. But I can't stay here. I have to help Magdalene. How do I get out? Andreas, you are the architect. I will help you as best I can, but you are the only one who can answer that. Holy shit. Yeah, it's the, it's the fucking labyrinth. My god, look at the... Look at this whole thing. Why wouldn't it let me go through there? Oh, right. God, I'm so stupid. Again, I, I keep I keep thinking I'm on the inside and not on the white for some reason. I don't know why, but I've just made that mistake a second time. I just mapped my whole way out the wrong way. <laughs> oh, God, no. Hello, Andreas. Is that you, Sabine? Yes, of course. I'm still here. Part of me will always be here with you. We haven't talked in so long. Why? You reminded me of August. Remind me. It wasn't all bad, Andreas. We lost him, but we had four years together. They were happy years, weren't they? It's hard to remember. This great black pain blots out all of the joy. I know. It was hard for both of us. I don't blame you for anything. And you should step, stop blaming yourself. It may be too late for us, but it's not too late for you, Andreas. It's not too late for Magdalene. Yes, Magdalene. I have to help her. You can, Andreas. But you have to leave this place behind for good. I know I can. I will. You will. Thank you, Sabine. Will I ever see you again? Not in this place. But maybe someday in a better place. In a better dream. God damn. Oh, no, Caspar. Master Andreas. Oh. Caspar. It's really you. It's so good to see you again, Master. How can you say that? You died because of me. I just wanted to help you, Master Andreas. You couldn't think straight. You shouldn't blame yourself anymore. I let my family down. I let you down. I couldn't stop Peter. Couldn't save Tassing. Couldn't even save more than a couple armfuls of books. You did what you could, Master. Everyone knows you did. And that's all any of us can do. All right, Caspar. Thank you. Thank you for everything you taught me. Oh. Wait. What happened? This was the way out. Oh, God. Before I started talking to Caspar, I knew this was the way out. Your mind is forgetting itself, Andreas. It remembers the pain of life. It's trying to protect you from it. Beatrice? Yes? I thought you were gone. You brought me back. Oh. So, what do I do now? Keep going. There isn't a, an exit now, though. I gotta go back. Oh, I see. It's now out of this side. Gonna go all the way over the other side. 
not August again. You too. I've spent so many nights, so many years without seeing your face. I thought I had forgotten it. I know there's nothing I could have done, but it doesn't make me feel any less guilty. It's always there under the surface, no matter how hard I try to bury it. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I... It's alright. He actually said something for the first time. What? It's alright, Daddy. It is? You don't have to hide here anymore. I'm scared, August. I know. But that's why you can't stay. There are people who need you. What if I can't help them? I don't know, Daddy. I'm too little. <laughs> I'm too little. I think you have to figure that out on your own. Of course. You're right. Thank you. I love you, Daddy. Words that I never feel like I ever would have to say out loud, but I've just said out loud. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Good night, August. Good night. No! They've shifted again, the walls! It's still trying to protect you. No. It's not? No, I mean, no, I, I don't have to do this. This is my mind, my maze, and I'm leaving. Good. But this next part might be confusing. Oh, shit. Oh, yo, hello. Hello. What? I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. Why are you holding the maze? This is the Lady of the Labyrinth. The Virgin Mary, is it not? Two things emerging in your mind. You and... There are layers to everything, even our memories. Over time, the foundations become buried. We can no longer recall how we got here, no longer, no, no, no longer recall what came before. And what came before? Our Lady watching over the labyrinth as I watch over you. And even this has roots that reach deep into the past. There was not always a Lady to watch over the labyrinth, but there was a labyrinth. Okay, hello, look where we are now. Is this Amelie? This is Sister Amelie. What's Am- is Amelie the fucking thread puller? What? I don't understand. Sister Amelie. Is- is this real? Am I still in my mind? You are here with me. You've been able to get out of your little thing. And we are here in spirit. Are we still in the ruins? We are in the tabernacle, the heart of the labyrinth. What the fuck is going on? What I don't actually I don't even know if this is real right now. Your spirit Your spirit was wandering and the Lord brought you here. But I don't understand. How did you leave your cell? I have not. We are only here in spirit, Andreas. Is this real? Am I finally experiencing that which I have only read about in the testimony of mystics? I told you long ago that reading cannot communicate a spiritual experience. But yes, this is real, and you need not be afraid. Have faith, if you are here with me, it is the Lord's will. 
but Magdalene is here too? Andreas, Sister Amelie? What are you doing here, sister? This is the center of the labyrinth, the tabernacle. It is where the Lord sends my spirit to do his will. Is she the writer of the beautiful script? He has also guided your spirits here. There must be a purpose to it. No, this isn't my spirit. I walked here through the aqueduct. Walked here through the aqueduct. So he, we've both wandered in here and she's potentially speaking in some sort of, you know, because she's not of, maybe not of sound mind and body that she, may, maybe she fucking sleepwalks her way from the cell into, into this place. I kind of want to say this because... Magdalene's like, no, this isn't my spirit. I walked here through the aqueduct. You are confused, Magdalene. It's understandable. My own visions have perplexed me for all of my life. Even though this seems strange, even though it is a place of spirit, it is very real. The Lord has called me to this place for many years. He has always made his work... He has always made his will known to me. Soon he will make it known to you. Sister, how does your spirit come to this place? Through the door between life and death. When my spirit hears the call, it descends through my grave. Here the Lord tells me what messages I must bear. And to whom? She is the thread puller. She's writing the script. The Lord tells you what messages I must bear and to whom. And she goes, oh, and she writes them in a beautiful script that no one's ever seen because she's in her cell. And then, but where do the, the only other person that is with Amelie is Thomas. So is Thomas also involved in this? Does he help scatter out the notes? Is he the one that tells her what messages to bear? And she's like sort of like imagining that it's the Lord and it's just fucking, we got Thomas behind the rocks going, right, stop. You deliver messages. Yes, once long ago, I was a scribe. I copied many works of the great church doctors. Oregon in particular, origin. Prophilic first century ascetic and theology and best known for his exegetical writings and homilies influenced the development of the Trinity and the ransom theory of atonement. But that all ended with the fire. It ended with my life. Did she wait? Did she perish in the fire? But she wasn't she wasn't even near it. Ended with your life. You were in the church. Wait. I thought I had given up the pen forever until the visions returned. She wouldn't have perished in the fire, though, because the church is nowhere near the abbey. I was like, what? And then she's like appearing as a ghost now. Oh, man, my brain's wrinkling. Yep, there you go. It's, she's the, there's the, oh, it's the, it's, she's the writer. That's her script. I thought I had given up the pen forever until the visions returned. Look at that, look at that writing. No! Look at this writing. When fire took my abbey, I couldn't save my sisters. Not one. Holy shit. Has she been a ghostly spirit like this whole time in her cell? And even has Thomas fooled 
So she's the one who comes in here, gets the Lord's messages, and then and then she goes and plants them. Oh man, what the hell? This writing. All I could grab was a single book and a bolt of cloth. I couldn't understand why God had spared me alone. But he showed me. God had a higher purpose for me, for my hand. Father Thomas explained it to me. He makes everything clear. He tells me what I must do, what the Lord wills me to do. It was you. The whole time you wrote the notes. I found one by my dad when he was attacked. Sister Amelie, you pushed those people into committing murder. What? No, no, that can't be true. The Lord would not use me for such a purpose. But that's what happened, sister. You wrote those notes. Maybe it wasn't the Lord's will, but your own. Calm yourself, sister. We'll figure this out. This doesn't make any sense. Why would Amelie want anyone dead? No, I wouldn't. He wouldn't. There was nothing in his messages about murder. No, no, no. I'm not here. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Ah! And Thomas walks in. Sister Amelie, shh, it's all right. Father Thomas, how did you get down here? Tassing is an old place. It's buried many ancient roads and tunnels over the centuries. People walk above the hidden ways every day without even knowing it. Though in truth, it was Sister Armelie who rediscovered them first and found this place. Wait. The dimensions of this room. This is the foundation of the church. Fuck. So she, she can potentially have access to it from her cell. Father Thomas, did you... In other circumstances, I would be overjoyed to see you, Andreas. In truth, I am still happy you are alive. Thank God. But I think this the occasion of this reunion leaves little to rejoice about. You! This is a lot to process. You and Sister Armley were behind all of the murders. No, she had no part in this. Yeah, he fucking, he's the thread puller. He faked everything here to like make her do what he wanted to write those notes. But the notes, she wrote them. She did, but she did not understand their purpose. I guided her. I told her what to write. I just said that. I was like, fucking Thomas behind the rocks. Stop. Thomas! You abused her love and her trust for your own purposes. He who wishes to follow love's way must regard neither cost nor shame. Nor pain he must stand to everything, even her most terrible commands. I am ashamed to admit it, but yes, I did. To what end? What was the point of all this? Look around you. What do you see? Roman ruins. Look closer. It looks like the statue of St. Moritz from the meadow. And the images of St. Sarsia from the shrine. 
I don't understand. The saints were Roman? It's Saint Moritz and Saint Sasha and Mars and Diana. They're like this like the same things with just different Yeah. The saints are the gods. When the Romans left Tassing, their buildings, their temples, their statues remained. Christians settled here centuries later. They found time-worn fragments of that imperial grasp. This statue of Mars, Pater, that once watched over the Roman field, stood there still, headless and nameless. The settlers believed it was St. Moritz, who was already a legend where they had come from. Right, because that statue's there, but it's only the feet. They found the shrine to Satia, and not understanding she was an aspect of Diana, believed she was another local saint. So the people turned them into saints. Sanctity and sainthood exist outside of what people believe, Magdalen. People cannot turn someone into a saint any more than they can unmake the divinity of Christ. But they knew of the saints and learned local legends of the region and applied them to the figures they found here. No one knew they were Roman gods because there was no account of what the Romans did and left here. Except for Historia Tassai. But Historia Tassai was not known then. Perhaps it had not even been written then. God, the one book I've been trying to get translated and Latin is such a, is a dying language. Who knows how long that book had been lost for before it made its way to Father Matthias. And you killed him for it. That's why I had the I had the book next. Yes, with poison. No one suspected. He died of poison and no one suspected? It must have been quite subtle. His death was unexpected, but I was the only person he could find it in about what he had read in Historia Tassai. When Father Matthias learned that there was no evidence that St. Moritz had ever come to Tassing, the shrine to him in the meadows was a statue of Mars that the Romans had ex erected hundreds of years ago. That Saint Satia was the Roman goddess Diana. He resolved to deal with it. And you resolved to deal with him. Andreas, our people believe in Saint Moritz. They believe in the miracles God has worked through his hand. And they believe in the legend of Saint Sasha that she helped Moritz and watches over Tassing still. Damn, and I chose to do the saints in my mural. God damn. And that was worth killing the abbot? I believe it was then, yes. Thomas has just been trying to like keep a fucking narrative for the town, for the greater good, for the greater good. If St. Moritz never came to Tassing, what's in the reliquary? What are the pilgrims coming to see? What does it mean for the people who prayed to him, to St. Satia, and believed their prayers were answered? What does it mean for the church that has given people hope, fixed like a false star in a dark sky? If the people have reason to doubt the validity of the saints, can they doubt the church? Can they doubt the gospel, the word of God? Do you have so little faith in ordinary people, Father Thomas? Perhaps some would, but you've always told us that we have to accept Christ of our own free will. Yes, of course, but preserving the legends of our saints doesn't interfere with individual volition. You are preserving a lie. I preserved a lie to illuminate greater truth. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. If you believe this, if you truly believe this, eternal life is yours. And saints have walked among us. And their relics work miracles. And they hear our prayers and answer them. And the two that protect this town were never here. They don't need to know that, Andreas. There are times when God feels so far away from us in these mountains. 
But a peasant in Tassin can stand in a field, look over our valley and say, St. Moritz was here. God was with us, and he is with us still, and he will be with us always. And that is the truth, even if the legend of St. Moritz is a lie. So many people have died because of what you have done. I know this is hard to believe, but I was trying to save lives, to prevent death. But one murder didn't solve the problem, did it? Because one day Baron Rothvogel rolled into town with another copy of Historia to sigh. A copy he promised to give to the abbot so Kiersau could come to terms with its past. And if Father Gernot read its contents, he would be facing the same danger you saw in Father Matthias. In retrospect, given how Father Gernot chose to run the abbey, my fears may have been unfounded. Do you think he wouldn't have cared? Whether he cared or not, I think the abbot would have been in more concerned with preserving the abbey. But there was also the baron himself. Given his provocations, he surely would have told people eventually. But then why Otto? Certainly he did, have, didn't have anything to do with Historia to sigh. He couldn't even read. In the end, his murder provoked Peter and the others into destroying the abbey. And holy fuck, I just realized I went to Thomas to be like, Hey bro, I got this book. I got this Historia to sigh. Can you help me? Can you help me read it? God damn. In the end, his murder provoked Peter and the others into destroying the abbey. I never thought that would happen. I underestimated Peter's anger and the peasant's frustration. So you killed him to prevent an uprising, but caused it instead. Someone else killed him, as someone else killed Baron Rothvogel. And it wasn't to prevent an uprising, but to stop him from showing people what he found. What he found when he was helping to dig the foundation of the rat house. So Thomas doesn't know who killed the Baron, maybe? As well as uh, Otto? He's saying someone else did. The notes obviously pushed someone to do it, but that's those murders are still questionable. What he found when he was helping to dig the foundation of the rat house. The wall of the aqueduct. No, everyone knows about the old aqueducts. That wouldn't cause alarm. What he found was a stone head. Oh, and it's the head that's right there. That's what he's talking about. The head of St. Moritz. Oh my God. Otto said he found the head of St. Moritz and that was his, that was his sign. And it was, and it's the, sta and it's the statue of, of Mars that say she was. Oh my God. Dear. Oh my God. The missing head of the statue in the meadow, the statue at the shrine of St. Moritz. How did it wind up over there? The most likely culprits are rain, floods, and time. Black Till told me that farmers find old tools and pottery in the fields every year. Yes, and this head remained hidden for centuries. It sat in the soil until Otto found it. And he was going to show everyone that God had favoured the town with his discovery. What Otto could not know is that our shrine statue was not of St. Moritz. Because Otto could not read the words chiseled across the helmet, Mars Peter. But the man he entrusted with this information, the town priest, could. Yes. And you told him to meet you on St. John's Eve at the Rat House. I could not let him destroy our town's beliefs. And you had poor Sister Armelie write down what you told her were visions, visions she couldn't remember, and deliver them in the dead of night to Guy, to Hannah, to Martin, so that one of them would murder Otto, just as someone murdered Lorenz. What about my father? I'm sorry, Magdalene. Why did you do it? It doesn't make any sense. Was it because of the mural? Yes. Klaus pursued the project with the determination of a guilty man doing penance. He kept digging and digging for answers about Tassing's past, Kiersau's past. I was afraid that sooner or later he would find out about Moritz, Satia. This place, everything. So you tried to kill him. 
No, I tried to scare him. First with the note, but he ignored it. I thought if I ransacked the workshop, it would scare him off. I didn't expect him to come down so quickly. It was just an accident. Wow, so Thomas is the one that did it. Thomas is the one that's put Klaus in that state. It wasn't an accident. You almost killed him. I know. So what are you going to do now? Kill me? Kill Magdalen? No, of course not. I have neither the means nor the will to do so. But even if I can't stop you from telling people what I've done, I can stop them from finding this place. Jesus. No, Father Thomas, stop. It's too late for me, but I can still take Tassing's secrets with me. Father, you're going to kill us all. You're going to kill Amelie. Then leave and take her with you. You can tell the townsfolk what you want, but if you stay here, we'll die together. You can't stop people from learning the truth. Maybe, but I have to try. I have to try so much to keep this lie. Father! Go! Did you see that while he was running, he had his hood on for a brief moment there? <laughs> Oh my god, Thomas. And the head of St. Moritz, unfortunately, also perishes in there. Are you alright? How is Sister Amelie? She's still out, but I think she's fine. They must have heard that, the golden hand. The entire church collapsing? I'd hope so. What are we going to tell them? What do you mean? About this? About everything? Why wouldn't we just tell them the truth? For the same reason Father Thomas hid it. Please explain your thinking. I'm just not sure it makes sense. What good will it do to tell everyone about St. Moritz and St. Satia? Maybe Father Thomas was right about that, if nothing else. Maybe it would break their faith. I think he's wrong. I think the people here have enough faith to hear the truth. You know them better than I do. Especially since I've been away for so long. You came back after all this time to solve this, but... It's hard to feel like we actually accomplished anything. Are we better off than we were this morning? Father Thomas won't be able to hurt anybody else. Maybe he never would have. I think you're right. We should tell them. About the saints, the Romans, all of it. I hate that doing the right thing feels so awful. I'm sorry. I am too, but I still think it's what we need to do. Because we have Historia to sigh, and Andreas can read that too. Then we'll tell them. Good. We should get Sister Amelie someplace warm. We can take her to my house. You'll probably have some explaining to do. Mm, a lot, I think. It's been a long time coming. God damn. I'm glad you didn't die in that fire. I am too. I think. Merry Christmas, Andreas. Merry Christmas. God, he's been alone for so long. Such a broken man. Oh! Magdalene, you made it back! Did you think I wouldn't? Well, I heard such a terrible din and then the house shook. I feared the worst. Is everything alright? I don't think so, Dad. But it will be. Hmm. Are you alright, Dad? Hmm, yes. I'm sorry. 
just tired. Sit by me. Tell me what happened. It started in the rat house. Well, the rats, Rathskeller. Andreas found an old Roman message there that pointed to the Mithraeum. Huh. So we went into the aqueduct. The section we found must have been closed off for centuries. We found an old Roman bathhouse. We couldn't go through, so we found our way down to a level under the baths. I think Andreas said it was a hippo cost. We got separated from Andreas. I was really afraid I'd lost him, that we'd both gotten lost down there. But then I heard his voice off in the distance and I was so really... Dad? Are you still listening? Oh, man. That's the worst way to, for him to go. Just such a such a pointless story being retold. He's just he's just gone. That's so terrible. Alright then. Alright then, big old time skip. That's fine, let's go four months later. Jeez, let's just fucking... Let's just skip over all of that process. <laughs> Jeez! Alright, well, I guess we've heard from Esther with the... Because we've received the letter now because of uh, the snow passing. I know it's hard. I mean, I can only imagine how hard it is. But we will all do our best to make you feel welcome when you get here. It's strange to think this will probably be the last letter I send to you. So I will end it with my love. Esther. The last letter that she'll send. Because I guess we'll go there. Magdalene? Oh, we're leaving. Act 9. Yes? I'm sorry to disturb you, but I wanted to let you know that everything is in order. Baltus has ensured that all of the financial matters will be handled. The money will be forwarded to you via the Reich's post as soon as everything is settled. I appreciate it. Please thank him for me. Thank him for everything. Of course, Mr. Strucker. I did not know your father well, but I know that he was well regarded by everyone who spoke of him. It seems that Tassing has lost many things in one man. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Good fortune to you. Dude, it's there's still more. <laughs> uh, we're very limited in where we can go. I wonder if this might be the epilogue or the closing segment. Ooh, well, this end, this one ending episode that I was definitely looking to squeeze into one episode is definitely becoming a, a two-parter ending. That is definitely becoming a two-parter ending. <laughs> so uh, this must be the ending, maybe. Or does the game just keep going? Um, what a time skip. All right, I'm going to take a quick break because I'm going to obviously have to split up this this into multiple parts for an ending because uh, I've been recording for two hours and 40 minutes at this time and I said I was going to push through at the two hour mark but here we find ourselves here so obviously you already know this by now because you've already watched episode 15 and this will be the ending episode maybe <laughs> maybe uh, a couple of days later I'm going to take a quick break and then we will proceed all right, let us proceed. Let us check outside. Gertrude, Veronica, because it's moving day, right? Oh, look at that. Elias. Amelie's there. Otz is there. Right, collapsed church. Look at that all come down. Okay. 
Wow. We're saying our farewells and we're, and we're moving. We're, we're going to go move to Prague, I suppose, and go um, catch up with, with Esther. Moving on to bigger and better things. Are you sure you have everything you need, Magdalene? I think so. Thank you. I made you something to take with you on the road. It's chamomile, cinnamon, and wheat flour. If you're traveling and you're having cramps... I know. I'll use it. Well, Hildegard's recipe just called for chamomile and wheat flour. I added the cinnamon for taste. I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Thank you. Mother Francisca had us all say prayers for him. And for you as well when she heard you were leaving. Really? That's so sweet. Please thank her for me. I will. We'll all miss you so much, Magdalene. I'll miss you too. God bless you. Safe travels. So I guess we've just sort of time skipped over everyone learning the the truth, I suppose. I can't go back that way, so we can't go to the town commons at all. No more maps. No more going that way. It's, this is definitely a very linear ending. We're being pushed into a very specific way to, like, see it out to the end. Magdalene, I can't believe you're really leaving. I'll miss you all dearly. The boys will miss you even more. Yours, at least. Oh, don't tease him. I think he's really having a hard time of it, despite appearances. Don't get over me soon enough. Maybe, but you are a special girl, Madel Madeline, Magdalene Druckerin. I've been reading non-stop for the past three hours. I understand why you're leaving. God knows you have good cause. But Tassing won't be the same without you. Safe travels and God bless you. Oh, uh, hey, Mags. Still can't even get it right at this point, eh? Ah. Oh. Call him Otto? Otz? I'm really sorry about your dad. He was always nice to me. My mom says he was a good man. He was a good dad. Well, thanks. I should get going. Mags. Magdalene. You sure you don't want to marry me? It's a little late for that, don't you think? Right. I just didn't want to spend the rest of my life wondering if I should have asked. You know? In the most casual way ever. Zero romance involved. Never, never really showing respect to this woman in the way that she asked. I just thought I'd, you know, go the rest of my life asking, you know, if I didn't ask you to marry me, <laughs> like, oh, arts, you got to try harder than that, buddy. You got to try harder than that, buddy. Look after your mother, arts. Elias is now the new Father Thomas. Father Elias. Good morning, Mistress Druckerin. Are you off soon? Yes, Father. Just saying my last few farewells. Of course. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to know you or your father. God rest his soul. I am too. Don't let those bohemians put any heretical ideas in your head. Once their per pernicious, seeds, pernicious seeds take root, they can choke the faith right out of you. Huh. St. Moritz will protect me. Interesting. I don't know, Father. I heard they have some interesting ideas. All right, young lady. Just because I'm new here doesn't mean you should tease me. God bless you, Father Elias. God bless you and your travels. Amelie. God bless you as well, Sister Amelie. Are you leaving today? Damn, full script now. I am. I'm just heading up to the mill in a bit. I'm so sorry for everything that happened. I know, it's all right now. Thank you for helping me. Do you know what you'll do now? Will you become an anchoress again? I don't know, honestly. Father Elias is trying to help me, but... I need to leave. I need to learn to rely on my own judgment a little more. 
Yeah, she's just been getting manipulated for so many years, dude. So crazy. It's going to take a long time to atone for my part in what happened. Perhaps the rest of my life. God knows you didn't mean to do harm. He does, but harm was done. I am writing an account of what happened here. As well as I can remember it anyway. If it is not enough to earn forgiveness, I pray that it will at least illuminate this history of great darkness. Good. It's worth remembering. God bless you, Sister Amelie. God bless and keep safe on your travels, Magdalene. Am I going to be able to go to the... Am I going to be able to go to the rat house? To check out my mural? Doesn't look like I can go back up that way. Hopefully we'll maybe hopefully we'll get a visual of it for the end of the game, I suppose. And we get to see how it's gonna be portrayed. Magdalene dear, I wish you'd stay with us. Little Andreas and Ulrich will miss you greatly. I'll miss them also. Tassing is not the place for me. It's past time to leave. You will find your happiness out there yet, somewhere beyond the hills and valleys. I know it in my heart. God looks after you as he does for us all. That is my hope. Hope is what drives us forward. Maybe one day you'll come to visit us again with your own family in tow. If that's the case, I'll make sure to send you a letter ahead of time. Of course, do write. I sometimes still think of all the lives and places out there. When I was younger, I often dreamed of traveling, visiting the many kingdoms. But I found my peace, here and now, in Tassing, even after all that happened. With the revolt? Yes, and Lenhart. It was a frightening time, not only to me, but to Paul and to Anna. It's probably what brought them together in the end. A miracle. My little darlings, without them I'd never had little Andreas and Ulrich. Ah, I'm rambling. Stay safe on the road, Magdalene dear. We're still in dangerous times. I will. Godspeed, Magdalene. Is Andreas still here and around too? Oh, Vaxlav is going to be the one to take us here. Oh, shit. That's Andreas. You got a fucking haircut. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I was like, where's Andreas? <laughs> He's fucking... I just thought this was like, oh, I'm the guy that drives the cart. <laughs> Literally, like, as I'm standing here and Vaxlav hasn't come into the picture yet, I'm, and I see a cart, I'm like, I'm the guy that drives the cart. Not Andreas. That's so funny. Holy shit. He's got a haircut and shaved his beard. Are you sure I look all right? Of course, Andreas. You look perfectly respectable. Does Andreas get to meet little Andreas? You're a little worse for wear, but a good sight better than you were. It was kind of the women to help clean me up. I'm afraid I'd forgotten how to look after myself. Some would say you took care of yourself quite admirably. How many men here could have survived in a burned out cellar for the better part of 20 years? Subsisting on our discarded rye, no less. I'm sorry about that. Andreas, we already told you. It's all right now. Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. Are you off soon? Hello. Yes, I'm riding with your flower to Mittenwald and then down the Isar. I'm sorry to see you go, Magdalene. Ah, so Andreas is going to stay here. Cool. But I hope Prague is everything you've dreamed of. If it's half the city Esther describes, I'm sure I'll love it. Ah, oh, Ulrich and Andreas are up here. <laughs> I can see them. <laughs> you have a chance to make a life of your own there. God knows I've squandered so much of mine. Use the time you have and use it well. I will. I don't know how, but I will. I wish you could have seen it, Andreas. I know. He would have loved it. I hope so. I know so. That's kind of you to say. We all need words of encouragement, and besides, it's the truth. 
Magdalene, I wanted to ask you something about the mural before you go. Hmm? I thought it was supposed to cover the whole wall. Why did you leave a section blank? Because that is Tassing's future. For the future. Unless history is going to stop in Tassing the moment I roll down the road. I think your wagon is about to leave. Oh, it is. Hardly feels like enough time. Yeah, they're, I can see that they're drawing. <laughs> That's really cool. The future artists of Tassing will draw on that blank mural wall. Thank you for everything you did for me. For my family. God bless you, Andreas Mailer. Andreas? Are you alright? I'm lost. That's alright. You're welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Besides, you can't leave yet. The children require your expertise. Oh? They're up on the mill, the walkway. I'll have supper ready when you're done. Just remember that you're always welcome in our home, Andreas. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, now I'm Andreas. Do I have a map? No. I have to go up to the mill, don't I? I'm like, can I go to the rat house as Andreas? No. It's time for us to go to the windmill platform. Okay. Andreas with little Andreas. Oh, I'm gonna I'm a I'm a cry. I'm a cry. God damn. Oh my god, the 3D space looks so weird. I've been viewing things in 2D for so long. Oh, it's the fucking mural. And it's beautiful. Oh, it's in, I'm in 3D. Look at this. Holy shit. This is so beautiful. amazing the truth was painted on the next mural too That's amazing under the church like that the true the truth of it all mm. 
when the truth of Tassing was discovered. Dylan Druckerin. Oh my god. What's going on here? Are we getting a family tree? A family tree? Oh my god. This is so beautiful. The family tree of everything, too. All of the characters. Uh, Apollo had a son and named it Peter. Oh no, Vaxlav was fucking burned. Oh no, Vaxlav was fucking burned. Jesus, for for his heretical points of view, for for how he decided to speak about things. Oh my God. Oh, yep. had a big family let's go interest had five kids and the oh the shrine of saint moritz weathered over as the truth came out oh andreas did this one andreas did you really have to paint vaxlav like that out of every out of all the people that you decided to put on there vaxlav just getting fucking burned jesus I was so good. I was just like so shocked seeing that. I was like, oh, fuck. Okay, sure. Wow. What a game. What an experience that was. I love seeing the mural, the work at the end of that, and then that fucking the family trees after that as well. That was spectacular. What a game. Very quiet credits. They played all the music in that. Um, played all the all the music in that mural reveal. Holy shit! What a what an experience that was! Great, I loved this story. Wow, I just I just feel like I've just been on a fucking journey, just an emotional journey. The way that this all wrapped up and Andreas was alive. And it was just both of them together. And then the reveal of the truth with Thomas all along. And it, as soon as he went and left at the Christmas dinner, I'm like, what the hell's going on there? So as he just left. So he was having Sister Amelie in her weird woozy visions going down into this place. So, you know, everything being built on a lie and the, just concealing the lie. And then Thomas, ah, oh, what a, what a douchebag. What a douchebag. And then he just kills himself and brings the whole church down only for us to just tell the truth anyway. Like, so weirdly pointless for him to be freaking out like that. But goddamn, the music in this game was amazing. The characterization, the writing, dialogue and interactions was great. And I learned so much, you know. And, and what's really cool about Pentiment is... With the way that this has all been built and put together, like there's, they could do more stories in this same sort of style if they wanted to. I don't know, in the form of like maybe like DLC expansions or even like a sequel, but I, I, this probably will be like a one off experience. Um, but I am so glad that this game got made. It was so much fun. I formed some genuine attachments to so many of the characters in the game. Um, and was very like very immersed and involved with with this little town of Tassing. Uh it's, it's a beautiful time. Uh the game was much longer than I anticipated too. I thought it was going to end with that potential death of um Andreas and I was like, oh my God. But we actually get to see 
we get to see so much more and the painting of the mural was such a beautiful way to like end it all and there was such there was such good poetry in there too really enjoyed that um i will skip the credits oh and look it's now changed you can see the mural in the background you can see this the scrap of parchment paper guys the, you, you know what this means right because it's all in a 3d space it's the 3d remake of pentiment just you wait they're going to release pentiment 3d <laughs> and you'll be able to navigate the space of a over-the-shoulder camera instead fully voice acted it's all right i fully voice acted the game for you in a in a terribly amateurish way and i hope you enjoyed my playthrough of pentiment because this was great i had such a good time um worth noting by the way it just goes straight into new game because there's no there's certainly no continue option you just go straight into a new game and it would be very interesting to see how different sort of choices can have different outcomes with things of uh, different suspects for for the murders and, and such. And But ultimately it's all going to have like a similar outcome. But choosing what people had on their murals, so much choice in this game to see how it all plays out. But I, I had a great time. I loved this game. I hope you enjoyed watching my playthrough of the game. I know that this has been uh, a very quiet game on the channel in terms of viewership uh not many people are interested in watching it which is a shame but i hope that people are more interested in at least playing it for themselves it is also a new game that people are probably working their way through themselves and don't wish to watch my playthrough until they've finished it but i wholly recommend this game i wholly recommend this game it was it's so much fun to to go through and to be involved in the story and be immersed it's not one that you want to rush at all you definitely want to try and you know get to know all of the characters and uh to really feel your involvement in the story of this game and i genuinely did that and it was very very rewarding uh thank you so much for those of you that have watched all the way to the end uh whether you have been watching it as the episodes have been coming out or you've come here much much later to check out this game but yeah definitely recommend it um and josh sawyer has done some incredible work uh obsidian never misses uh so i'm really keen to check out some other obsidian rpgs um eventually at some point like i've never played the pillars of eternity games for example um and i would be very interested for from i'm always interested in more obsidian i'm very excited for their potential new rpg avowed whenever we see more information on that as well yeah obsidian are busy super busy and i'm super excited for what they do next thank you so much for joining me for this playthrough everybody i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video